The suspect who attacked House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband is scheduled to be arraigned today. He's facing multiple state and federal charges as we learn new chilling details about the brutal assault. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Calvin, Nicole, we did just learn that David DePap did plead not guilty during his first appearance at a California court. It was after that we did get remarks from the deputy public defender. There's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumor. Um, you know, simply based on the nature of this case. But as of right now, I haven't even seen the police reports. I met my client last night for, with, for a brief meeting for the first time. Um, and so I'm not going to add to all the speculation by talking about the facts of this case right now. 42-year-old David DePamp will face a judge Tuesday charged with federal crimes and multiple felonies after police say he violently attacked House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, with a hammer, fracturing his skull. The investigation is ongoing, so there's a lot left to do in this case. The affidavit shows DePamp stated he was going to hold Nancy hostage and talk to her, and if she lied, was going to break her kneecaps. The Justice Department announced federal charges of assault on the immediate family member of a federal official and attempted kidnapping of a federal official. When it comes to state charges, he's facing attempted murder, residential burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, false imprisonment of an elder, as well as threats to a public official and their family. DePap told police that he broke into the San Francisco house through a glass door Friday morning, stating that Pelosi was in bed and appeared surprised, adding he told Pelosi to wake up and that he was looking for Nancy. Prosecutors believe DePap was prepared to detain and injure the House Speaker, armed with zip ties, tape, rope, and at least one hammer. Violence has no place in this city, and we will work vigorously to hold the defendant accountable. Paul Pelosi continues to recover from surgery. He has been able to give police a few details about the break-in. As for the alleged attacker, if convicted, he could face up to 50 years in prison. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thanks a lot.